what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new here what is up with you what is up okay um, i'm so glad you're here if you're not new welcome on back i'm so 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 glad you are back um you guys merch is in the description down below um complicated ent.com okay complicated ent.com on myself Okay, so first things first, y'all. This is going to be an unpopular opinions video because I love to do these every once in a while to, you know, see where you all's head is at. You know, I want to hear what you have to say. You know, you, you all hear me talk all fucking day, every day, okay? It's time for me to turn the camera over to you. Um, I have people in the comments. I have people in my Twitter DMs. And you all send me unpopular opinions every once in a while. And I just go on YouTube and just talk about them. So let's get into the first one. First one is that Cardi B, okay? needs to switch markets she needs to switch out from the american market because she is no longer performing well in the states okay um they want her to be an international artist they feel like she will be more successful as an international artist because you know she's falling off cardi b has really fallen off when it comes to um the american market like she is like beneath the floor i mean like she's in the ground like you know she's not even She's not even in the ground. She's beneath the ground. She's like, you know, bedrock. Like, yeah, she's falling off. And she's like, it's crazy. You know, from going to having five number ones back to back to back to not even getting, you know, a top three recently. is, is It's interesting to see. It's pretty in interesting to see. Um, even her, like, pure sales have gone downhill. You know, only thing that's carrying her songs right now is just that radio play. Okay? Um, radio has been carrying her career for the for the, a while now. Okay? And people are just like, Cardi B, you should go over to the Latin market. You know, I'm sorry, the, the you know, international market, okay? Um, you know, that's your culture anyway. You know, you'll do great there, okay? What's going on? Now, people already feel like she's doing this because she just now did a collab with um, Shakira. Um, and even then, that song didn't perform that well. I mean, it's doing well, allegedly, but it's not doing, like, groundbreaking numbers. You know, she just, she just has lost her it factor to become like a mainstream like type person you know what i mean like you know cardi b used to be like oh my gosh number one on billboard every other week you know she used to be trending on social media you know she used to be at the grammys she used to be having this and that and that you know and they feel like okay cardi b it's time for you to switch up your, your profile okay and me personally do i agree with this unpopular opinion um i actually do agree with this unpopular opinion i actually do agree um i feel like she needs to do switch it up i think she needs to switch it up like maybe like you know release a fully international album you know maybe re release an album that like you know is you know latin album you know maybe you know you could do that you know bad bunny you know bad bunny carol g you know you could be one of those you know you could be one of those people who you know have success in that market okay um i don't know how much longer you can get away with saying the n-word too okay you've been getting away with saying the n-word too long it's time for you to get out of our spaces out of our market and go to your own market baby okay you will thrive all right um, also, I think Cardi B doesn't really, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to be too controversial, but I will say this though, Cardi B cannot rap. And I know that may sound like, what do you mean? Oh my gosh. What do you mean? No, she can't rap. Like, and it's not like me being negative. She just can't rap. Like she sounds like she's struggling to even mesh well with the beats that she's on. So her best bet is to get on a beat that's more familiar with her culture. I'm trying to say everything in a nice way so I don't get canceled type shit. But she needs to go back to, okay, see, that's why I'm not, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to say that because that, that's really not what I'm for. But she needs to do what she is familiar with, okay? Um, but I don't know. Maybe she's more familiar with the hip-hop scene. Maybe she is more familiar with, you know, our culture, okay? Um, you may be more familiar with it, but it's not natural to you, you know? So this unpopular opinion definitely gets all my support, for real, for real. Um, listen, I'm not a Cardi B hater. I'm not, I don't hate, I don't hate this. I don't hate Cardi B. I don't hate her, but I don't care for her artistic overall production and her, her creative. I don't, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for what she stands for. I'm not here for her music. I'm not here for any of that because it just doesn't seem like a genuine, I, I'm a rap head. I love rap. I love female rap. I love music. I love all of what comes with rap and she's everything that rap doesn't need. Okay, ghostwriting, fraudulent, fraud, payola, um, you know, just, just no talent. It's all that in the bag of chips. I don't hate Cardi B as a person because I don't know her ass. I don't know her. I don't know anything about her ass. I, I, I listen. I, I, I don't know her, but her music and how she portrays to the industry, I don't like that. Okay, it's time to switch up to new markets and maybe I may, you know, maybe I may, I may, I may tune into a song or two. Maybe, maybe. Okay, but it's definitely time for her to get into a new market all right 
let's start off there. How do y'all feel about that one right there? Um, let's discuss, let's discuss, okay? Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on to our next unpopular opinion. This one kind of triggered me a little bit, but listen up, okay? Unpopular opinion number two, Taylor Swift, okay, is, well, I'm sorry, Taylor Swift has become more popular than Michael Jackson in his prime due to the recent gain and traction of Taylor Swift's brand, aka, you know, Taylor Swift has been, you know, selling out stadiums and tours, and, you know, she's become a billionaire off of music, um, there's some Michael Jackson didn't become a billionaire off, billionaire, billionaire off his music. Um, Michael Jackson didn't sell as many tickets as Taylor Swift is doing. Um, you know, so many people are comparing her to being the next Michael Jackson. Okay. And um, this actually, this unpopular opinion was sent to me by a Swifty. So a Swifty um, messaged me this in my, um, to my Twitter DMs. Okay. And honey, I want you to unsubscribe from the channel. Like no shade, unsubscribe. Cause what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, boo? I'm sorry. No, no, it is no shade. I'm just being real. I'm just like, no, no shade. But what are you talking about? Taylor Swift bigger than Michael Jackson? Taylor Swift is bigger and better than Michael Jackson. I don't give a fuck how many tickets she sells. It don't get no better than Michael Jackson. Okay. It don't get no better than Michael Jackson. Taylor's like, no. Okay. No. Okay. Um, first of all, I don't even think that Taylor Swift herself would agree to that shit. Okay. I don't think that she would agree to that. I don't think she would allow herself to um, agree, even agree to be compared to that man. Okay. First off, the, sh the, the show quality can't compare. I don't care how many tickets she sells. Popularity does not always equal talent. And there's no shade to Taylor. I'm not saying Taylor Swift is talentless. She's definitely not no talented dummy. No, she can songwrite. She's a great songwriter. Her singing, her singing ability is not bad. Like it's cool, but it's just enough to get her songwriting messages out there. You know, it's just enough to push her songwriting ability out there as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she's a great musician. It's no disrespect to Taylor Swift. But that statement alone is massive disrespect to Michael Jackson. I will never disrespect a legend like that ever in my life. That is just disrespectful, okay? First of all, how do you even compare the two? Like, why Why would your brain... When you send me this on Pop Opinion, I'm not gonna put your, I'm not gonna put your name out there, but when you send me this on Pop Opinion... What made you think that this was going to be like, oh, let's discuss this and have a, a, a conversation about it? There's no conversation to be held about it. It's not, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, no shade. Like, no shade. I'm just being real here. Like, no shade. But honestly, though, I feel like maybe some people, you know, I feel like some people do have certain emotions towards their favorite artists. And like, I don't know, maybe they are a young viewer of mine. Maybe they're not, you know of the age to understand Michael Jackson's impact. And if that and if that's and if that is the case, I apologize for, you know, being so harsh towards you. But I just don't agree with that, sweetie. You do your research. Before you even comment questions like that, please do your research on Michael Jackson's impact and like all he had to do was stand on stage. People were passing out. And you may say, well people are doing the same thing same thing for Taylor Swift, but no, they're just delusional. That's all it is. They're just delusional. Okay. It's nothing to pass out about Taylor Swift for. Um I'm just being honest. No, maybe they're just shocked to be in her presence. That's probably all it is. But Michael Jackson, it was a whole, it was a whole movement. It was a movement. I mean, Swifties have a movement too, you know? But like, it's just different. You had to be there. I mean, I wasn't there. I was, I was what, four when he died. So I wasn't there. Okay. But I understand because I have, you know, I love Michael Jackson and I've, and I've watched the performances and I've seen, I've seen the impact, and I've seen the the Super Bowl, and I, I, I've seen it all. I, 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 my, my father, he used to really love MJ, MJ, real bad, real, real bad. Like, he was like, I mean, it was crazy. He'd been to many of his shows. So I grew up with him in the household, okay? I understood his impact growing up, even if I wasn't there. And not everybody's exposed to that. Not everybody is exposed to the, you know, background of Michael Jackson and what he's done. So I get that. I understand that. But don't do that weird one again, okay? You, you can subscribe now. You can click the subscribe button again. I'm sorry, boo. You probably don't know. Oh, he's so fucking delusional. Let's move on to this next topic. Our next unpopular opinion is from... This one is from YouTube. No, no, no. no. This one's from Twitter. Okay. Um, unpopular opinion number three. Um, Scissor's music sounds the same to me. Literally no variation. It's irritating and corny. There's no originality in sound or exclusiveness. Just plain, corny, black-ass music with no sonic ambition. Um, I disagree with that. You kind of say, are you, what, are you black or white? I'm going to text you this after to make sure you're not one of them. Because don't do that weird one. If Okay. But, um, will I say that it's, like, repetitive? I mean, her voice can be repetitive. 
you know, her voice is be like, I will do that. Bye. I will do so good. You and my ex now. Like, I, I know what you mean with that. Her voice is be really like, she sings in cursive real bad. I get that. But that's probably the only thing that's repetitive. Because if you play the SOS album, if you play the song called Low and then play Kill Bill, they sound, they don't sound the same at all. If you play the song called um, F2F and then Ghost in the Machine, they don't sound the same at all. If you play the song called um, Special and then go ahead and play um, Nobody Gets Me, they don't sound the same at all. It's just you are like not really listening to the music for for like the production on on most of her songs is different. You know what I mean? I mean, she does have an aesthetic. Her aesthetic is real low key, real like, you know, like, you know, real like, you know what I'm saying? She has a certain aesthetic for sure. But I would never say her music is the same. That's delusional as fuck. I disagree with you on that. So I do not agree with this unpopular opinion, okay? And I hope you black. Because don't be coming up here saying no racist ass shit like that, okay? On myself. Don't, do not do that weird one, okay? Um, SZA is, is, is... I think SZA is pretty talented. SZA is talented. I think she's pretty damn talented. She's been at this for a while. And if she has been at this for a while and she was re- repetitive, like, I don't think she will be this far. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she'll get this far, okay? People who like... People like Megan Thee Stallion, they're repetitive. And they won't make it, I mean, they won't have it any more, look, okay, look, Megan, she made it, you know, but she won't grow anymore because she's not innovating anything. So she's capped out her, her, like, her level of, like, success for me, in my opinion. Like, she won't get any bigger than what she's at. She's already big, yes, but she won't get any bigger. SZA has exceeded herself over the past few years, which means that she's innovating and doing new things and being versatile. Like I told y'all in the last video, JC, she's doing some new shit now. She's doing some alternative um, pop rap music. She's going to be elevating soon. You see what I'm saying? Like, she's going to be getting to, to, into, new, into new levels. So apparently SZA's not repetitive at all, obviously. Um, but also, though, I feel like SZA, though, I want to see her make a rock album. I know, I know that sounds so random, but when I heard the song called F2F, I was like, this could be out. She has some potential real bad. Oh, she got some potential. I want to see her do some genre bending like Beyonce is doing. You know, I want to see her get into some new things and dibble and dabble into, you know, some different sounds that may not be the generic thing for R&B girls. You know, I want to see people, you know, try new things. I love the fact that Beyonce has done that. Like the whole new, like, oh, let me do this genre. Let me, you know, people say it's culture biting. I mean, I can see what you mean by that, but it could be culture biting, but I don't know. I think it's just having fun. Because like, I, I feel like a lot a lot of times in this industry, a lot of artists are not having fun anymore. They're just doing music just to, to get a hit or doing music just to get a chart position and it's not it's not exciting anymore like we can tell you just want to get a number one on the charts we can tell you just want to get a hit i'm not saying you can't want to hit but like we need to make sure that you're making music for all the right reasons like you know make sure that this music sounds good you know make sure the music sounds like something that like we can be playing in 20 years a lot of people who are releasing music now think about it you won't be playing a song in 20 years you just won't be like it's a lot of fast consumption ass music and I, and I feel like SZA doesn't make that. SZA makes music that we can play in 20 years. I think SOS can definitely be an album that can be played in 20 years. I can definitely hear my nieces and nephews playing snooze in 20 years at, at the cookouts. I can hear snooze being played at the cookouts. I just can't. Um, so I would never say SZA music is repetitive. That's delusional as fuck. That is, it's just delusional to me. Um, maybe you need to go get your ears checked out. When was the last time you had a hearing, a hearing, um, you know, a hearing thing done, you know? Never? Oh, <laughs> I can tell, bitch. I can tell. <laughs> We need to get you started for some hearing aids. All right, let's move on to this next topic, y'all, okay? Moving on, moving on. I want to go ahead and get into this next topic because, as you all know, um, Nikki's on tour. Megan about to go on tour. Janae Aiko's about to go on tour. Beyonce about to go on tour. Um, Olivia Rodrigo's on tour. Taylor Swift is on tour. Um, Ariana Grande's rumored to go on tour. Um, who else is on tour? Offset is on tour. Uh, who else is on tour? Like, I mean, like, so, Victoria Monet just, just got off tour. Like, so many people are on tour right now. Okay, or about to go on tour. Okay, like it's a lot of people right now. It's crazy. Usher, Usher's on tour, about to go on tour. Okay, it's so many people. And this has people wondering, are celebrities going broke? Are celebrities officially going broke? They feel like this because, you know, let's say, you know, everybody's on tour right now. You know, they're getting their coins. But like, you know, they feel like it's just like, why you need all this money for? You know, now, no shade, y'all. I'm not going to say celebrities are going broke, but I feel like the money situation is changing for everybody, okay? Yes, they're still rich, but the rich people are becoming rich people broke, okay? Now, rich people broke for us is not the same for... You know what I'm saying? Like, like rich people broke for us is like, 
millions of dollars still. You know, it's, that's still, it's still you, you, you're still a millionaire for sure. You're still a multi-millionaire, but the economy now is so effed up. It's like they have to do something to, you know, get themselves back on their, on, the, on their feet. You know, all these celebrities now are releasing all these damn brands. You know, Kylie Jenner. She has like four brands she released in the past two months. What the fuck are you doing, girl? Like Kylie Jenner, why are you releasing all these brands? Okay, all these celebrities and musicians seem like they're just doing a lot to keep themselves on their feet. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like the pandemic, um, everybody is still recuperating from the pandemic. Like just because you're fine after like the, the incident happened doesn't mean that like everybody's okay. Some people are still recovering. Cele- not even just celebrities. Some people, business owners, they're still getting back on their feet. Yes, you may say, oh, it's been it's been four years since since then. It doesn't mean people bounce back overnight. People are still taking time to get back on their feet. Like, no shade. Like, I just built my savings back up last year. You see what I'm saying? Like, after the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, everybody's not just back on the, the old pandemic is over. We all happy now. We all rich. Yes, I get it. You know, and it's like, no shade. Like, and even for celebrities, like I said. I'm pretty sure they took a hit. They, like, during the pandemic, they could not go on tour. They couldn't do that. So they're getting all the money that they would have gotten back from that time period. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say that these celebrities are going broke. They're going rich broke, you know? So they have to get all this money just to maintain their lifestyle type of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, but I would never sit up here and say that these people are broke. That's just delusional. That's delusional. Well, no shade, though. Some people are broke. Some are broke, okay? Some artists are broke, and some are, Okay. But you know, Nicki's on tour, she ain't broke. Um, Taylor Swift is on tour, she ain't broke. Beyonce is about to go on tour, she ain't broke. We like, we know the, we know the, we know the girls ain't broke. We know, we know who broke and we know who ain't. Usher ain't broke, you know. So like, we can't say that, you know. We, these people like they got money for sure. Um, but I do feel like this touring thing is kind of suspicious though. Like, why is everybody going on tour? You know, like everybody's going on tour now. You know, and, and everybody's releasing music this year. There's something interesting going on in the music industry that I feel like, you know, needs to be discussed, um, especially right now in terms of, you know, the culture, you know. But, hey, I don't care. Because, look, if everybody going on tour, that means I'm going to have a lit-ass summer. I'm going to be outside this summer. I'm going to be outside. Like, I'm going to be really outside. Like, yeah, like, it's nothing going on. Like, I'm going to really be, like, at everybody's stuff, okay? Uh, my, my Nikki tour is, is um, confirmed. I'm going, I'm going to see Usher twice. Um, I'm going to that Beyonce tour if it's this year. Um, I may see Janae Aiko if I feel like it, but I'm definitely going to see Janae. I'm, I'm outside. I'm outside, you know, and it's just like, it benefits me because like, okay, you know, I get to have fun and it benefits them because they get to get a coin. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for everything in terms of the touring. Um, hopefully these artists don't get burnt out because it's like a lot going on. You got all these, you making all this music, you're going on tour, like hopefully you don't get burnt the fuck out like no shade because like i can see that happen i can see these artists getting burnt out so with this unpopular opinion i will have to disagree i don't think that they're going broke i think that they're going rich people broke which means like money is still coming in hot i mean hot and fresh like little caesar's pizza but it may not be you know as much as they need due to the economy you know what i'm saying like due to the economy everybody's like the, the first of all i have friends who like they're trying to get jobs. They can't even get a job. Like, it's like, it's bad out here. I'm like, oh my God, like, we need to get you a business, baby. Like, something, you know? And it's like, not, first of all, not everybody not everybody can afford to even set up a business. Not everybody can, not everybody wants a business. Not everybody wants to be an a entrepreneur type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'd be like, damn, like, not everybody want to do that. So it's like, I'd be trying to give advice, but it's like, I can't. Because it's like, ugh. All I'm trying to say is, listen, everybody going through it, whether you're rich, famous, broke, poor, money ain't always, like, good for real for real for everybody all the time it's just not and it's like you know it is what it is let's move on to this next unpopular opinion okay all right y'all moving on to our next unpopular opinion um this one got sent to me by ice spice fan they feel like ice spice is going to be the next doja cat they feel like ice spice needs to just needs to just switch up her um her style and her her musical sound and she will be um the next doja cat okay you know because doja cat you know she's the most streamed female i'm sorry she has the most listeners on spotify right now in terms of a female rapper um she has all these number ones all this rah rah okay yeah that's cool but ice spice all she needs is payola and she'll have the same thing <laughs> all she needs is payola and she'll have the same exact thing so don't compare her to that okay um and do i want anybody to be the next doja cat um no i don't think anybody's the next anything okay that's what i don't like about y'all y'all always want to say oh well this person is the next this person no they're not okay this person is the next this person that they are, okay? Stop trying to, like, make people be the next thing. No, 
Because honestly, in life, nobody is the same. I mean, people may have the same, you know, similar characteristics, similar things, similar interests. That's fine. But like the same exact person that you want, you want, you you will never come across that, especially in the music industry. It's just not how that works. People may make the same type of vibe of music, same aesthetic. But Ice Spice being the next Doja Cat doesn't even sound logical to me. So I don't know who sent me this, but I have to disagree with this opinion. Okay, this is not eating for me. I'm sorry. You could have said something else like maybe Ice Spice needs to. Um, you know, have a new sound. Okay, I can agree with you on that one, but Ice Spice, the next Doja Cat. What the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no shade. That's no shade, but that's kind of random. That's kind of random. Like, it's kind of random to me. I don't know, but I don't know. Maybe we're going to see. Maybe she could have, the, have that potential. Um, you know, maybe she could, you know, be on that level. All right. But no shade, though. I don't recommend anybody to go in the, in the route that Doja Cat is going. Um... Because I feel like low-key Doja Cat doesn't even want to be famous anymore. Like, I don't think she wants to have the fame like that, honestly. Um, I don't think she wants it. So, she acts like she doesn't care about her fame or whatever, her fans. I don't know. But, I don't know. She claimed that she did support them. Like, she does love her fans. In a recent interview, she said, oh, I love my fans. I love, I love my fans. But I wouldn't even play around with that topic like that. I would never play around with, like, the love you get from your supporters. That's just not nothing to play around with. You should always be showing them the utmost love at all times. Especially, you know, if they're the ones putting money in your pocket, they're the ones who are, you know, getting you all these shows sold out, you know. So I don't think anybody needs to go the Doja Cat route. Do not go the Doja Cat route. I don't care who you are. You may go the route of her music, you know, her, you know, her sound, you know, you may be inspired by that, but don't go the route of like, oh, I want to be the next Doja Cat. Oh, she needs to be the next Doja Cat. First of all, I never heard nobody say that. <laughs> Nobody's comparing Doja Cat to nobody. And y'all might think that I'm like, you know, being negative towards Doja. I'm not being negative to her. I'm not. I don't hate Doja Cat. I love Doja Cat. I actually been streaming her music before she was famous. Like, back in middle school. Like, I was tuned in on SoundCloud. Like, real bad. Like, I know her OG music. Like, a lot of her unreleased music, I play it. <laughs> like, I know her. Like, I know. That's my girl. But I see through people's gimmicks. I see through the games. And I see through the BS. And I'm always clock it. I'm always clock it. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm a clock it. Okay? Um, people who I don't clock is because they don't have anything for me to clock. You know what I'm saying? They don't have anything for me to point out that's a gimmick because they're just being genuine. You know what I'm saying? And that just is what it is. Okay, let's move on to this next unpopular opinion because y'all better make me, y'all making me lose some brain cells. Ooh, okay. Let's move on to this next opinion, y'all. All right, y'all. Moving on to this next unpopular opinion. Um, This one was sent to me on, this was a YouTube comment. Somebody said, Drake has fallen out with Young Money. Um, they feel like Drake has found out with Young Money because, you know, he's never really seen with Nicki like that. Um, him and Wayne don't really seem to be, you know, having anything going on like that anymore. Um, they feel like the Young Money type of thing with Drake is just like, he almost feel like he's too big headed for the Young Money, you know, come up. You know, they feel like he's just gotten so big headed. He just forgot where he's from. He forgot who really supports him. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't support Nicki's music. He doesn't post Nicki's music. He doesn't support anything she's doing. He never acknowledges it to the public unless... You know, he wants some clicks from her fans. Um, they feel like Young Money has just abandoned the entire Young Money, you know, group. And just, he just is, you know. Um, now, do I agree with, agree with this unpopular opinion? I do. I feel like, I agree to a certain extent, though. Um, I feel like the love is always there. The love is never going to go away. The love is like, the Young Money love. Like, if you were there during the Young Money era, you would know, like, they ain't going nowhere. They, they like, they're family, okay? And some family in your life, you know, you're with them every day and then some days you're not some days you all just aren't together and it's no issue or beef it's just like you know we just grew apart but i do kind of feel like drake has kind of gotten big-headed um in terms of his career like he 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 thinks they i mean he, he he's made it he definitely has made it but he in his mind he probably made it more than wayne and nikki he probably feel like oh i'm, I'm the best who came out of young money da, da, da. I, I think he has that attitude he definitely has that attitude um uh, i'm not saying he doesn't you know i'm not saying he's not grateful for what wayne has done for him but I feel like he kind of, like, feels like, oh, I'm bigger, bigger and better than these people. Why do I need to be, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like Drake has definitely, within the past few years, started moving weird towards people in, you know, in Young Money. Um, You know? uh, You know, I just feel like, you know, he, it just, for me alone, it's just the Nicki. It's Nicki and Drake. That relationship was so strong back in the early 2010s. And it just seems like now it's like, it's, you know, but then again, you know, they all have their own lives, you know, their own, they're doing their own projects. They're on, you know, they're on their own tours. They have kids now, you know, they have their own families, you know, they're doing their own thing. And I get it, you know, time can, you know, hinder that. I'm sorry, not time. Life can hinder your relationship between certain people in life. And it's okay. It's totally fine. But like I said, the love is not lost, but I feel like Drake has definitely been moving weird. He's definitely been moving weird. 
Um, so I do agree with this unpopular opinion for sure. Um, but I don't think there's, there's, there's no beef though. There's never going to be any beef. There's never going to be any beef. Okay. But, um, yes. Okay. Let's discuss that down below in the comment section. Let's discuss, let's discuss y'all. Okay. Um, how do y'all feel about that? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe, maybe this isn't true. Maybe Young Money is doing just fine and we just don't know because we're not behind the scenes and we don't know what goes on behind the scenes like that. So maybe everything is just great. Maybe everything is better than it ever was. And we just don't know. Okay. But I um, mean, yeah, let's discuss that down below. Um, I kind of do miss the Young Money era. Like, I miss the 2010s. Like, you know, every time Nicki got a song, she will be seeing Young Money. I miss seeing them on Instagram together in pictures. I miss seeing, like, you know, Wayne, Nicki, Drake, and, you know, Tyga and all of them on stage together back. You know, I, I miss that era. It was a simpler time. Um, you know, I miss the Maybach music era, you know, like 2010, 2011. I mean, you know, I was in fucking elementary school, but it was still a vibe. I still remember the like the, the entire thing. Like, I remember going on my um, YouTube and seeing like the um, Bear Rock video. Like, I just remember all that. I miss Young Money like bad. I miss the Young Money era so much. It was just so it's so nostalgic. Um, hopefully, we can have a Young Money tour. You know, I want a Young Money tour. I want a Young Money tour with everybody. Tyga, I want the whole everybody, everybody. I don't give a fuck who you is. If you're part of Young Money, you on tour. You know, I would love that. And I wanted them to, I want to do, I want, the, mm, I want the Young Money tour to be a stadium tour. Now, no arenas, I want a stadium tour for Young Money, okay? Drake, Nicki, and Wayne, they can definitely set out a stadium, for sure. For the, for the Young Money tour, for sure, okay? Um, you know, they would have to discuss that, talk about that, um, and really, you know, just get into that. You know, everybody have about an hour for their set, and then they do some songs together, and they go home. That would be cool. You know, a three-hour show, that's good what three hour show that's good what the fuck and then everybody only performed for an hour for real for real so like that's good okay but yeah let's discuss that down below in the comment section would you be here for a young, a young money tour um do you feel like young money has kind of split up a little bit do you feel like drake is fake as hell um let's discuss all that down below in the comment section yeah all right y'all moving on to our next not bad y'all my piece of done <laughs> my piece of done on my soul yeah pepperoni on my soul i'm about to be eating down after i finish this video on my soul anyway <laughs> Um, I guess a popular opinion is uh, Beyonce needs to wait to do her tour until next year, okay? Because people simply cannot afford to do another tour back to back like this, okay? Um, no shade, Beyonce, but I do agree with this unpopular opinion. Your own fans are DMing me this, telling me this, that they want you to wait. If your own fans are telling you to wait for something, that's a problem. That means they're not ready. People are still recovering financially from the renaissance world tour now is that their fault of course it's their fault but no shade but because nobody forced you to buy them tickets nobody forced you at all okay but i told y'all i have a friend who is still paying off them damn renaissance tickets she she decided to sit you know the, um the on stage risers like the people who are on stage she paid seven bands for them and and i'm like girl what you doing who you fuck for that she's like oh it's, uh, it's okay i'm paying installments Okay, but you need to install a financial advisory plan. That's what the fuck you need to be downloading on your phone. Um, anyway, so I feel like personally, the Beehive, I, I, I feel bad for y'all. Every day you're getting thrown with new products, new tours, new random ass clothes from Ivy Flop. I feel bad for y'all. Okay, I feel bad. You know, all of a sudden now you got to buy $50 hair shampoo. I mean, I already bought Sacred, so I'm, I'm calling myself out. I'm sorry. But, and now you got to pay $2,000 to see your girl perform. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be going through it over there y'all be going through it over there i mean i'm gonna be have two i mean i love beyonce i like beyonce I, I like to get into her experiences sometimes but i'm not a beehive like i will never go around saying oh i'm a beehive mm, i don't sting people i'm sorry <laughs> i'm not a bee i like to i like to show love i'm a unicorn um so yeah okay that's my personal opinion on that um i feel like she needs to wait as well i do agree with her fans if your own fans are telling you something we're going to have to wait, okay? We're going to have to not do that weird one, okay? We're going to have to wait, okay? But yes, yeah, let's discuss down below the comment section. Let's discuss down below. Um, how do you feel about all these unpopular opinions? I love unpopular opinions videos because I just feel like, you know, it's... I feel like I'm talking to y'all. I feel like I'm really talking to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, I love it. I love it here. I really do. Um, also, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you um, for watching to the end of today's video. Um, I may have another video coming out later today. Okay, so be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Okay, on myself. All right, y'all. Be safe.